Today, we are in Suna East in Migori County, a place called Lichota. We've installed a 5.76 kilowatt peak uh, solar system. We have 16 panels uh, running um, down into where we have the battery bank and also the charge controller. So let me take you to where you can be able to see uh, the solar panels. We have them on this garage, so we'll be able to see them from the other side. This is the rear side of the garage, and as you can see, we have the solar panels on the roof. We have 16 pieces of 360 watts each connected uh, to take that power into the battery bank inside the garage where we have our system. So let me take you to where we have the system inside the garage. Viewers, as you can see, the system that uh, is inside the garage is able to power a uh, third guest wing uh, on our left side and also the main house, uh, the one with an elevated uh, roof and also the borehole at the far end there. So let me take you inside the garage so that you can be able to see the system and how it operates. So, like I told you, uh, this is the garage and we have the solar panels on the roof. So the system is inside the garage. So come. So this is where we have our system. Uh, as you can see, uh, we have 12 batteries that are connected in a 48 volt bank. Then we have two inverters that are hybrid. Uh, they are working together. We've configured them to work together. Each is five kilowatt. So two of them are giving 10 kilowatt uh, and they are powering the whole uh, house, the guest wing, the servant quarters, the borehole. Now we have a remote monitoring system here, so the owner is able to see what the system is producing and what is the consumption from wherever he is in the world. So we have the controls here, we have our battery fuse, we have the breakers for the panels. Then we have these side protective devices that protect the system against lightning. Then we have the main uh, output switch that is going uh, to the loads, the common load panel. We also have the water pump uh, fuse uh, right here. So this whole system uh, is able to run the whole house viewers there is a borehole that has been sunk here and uh, that the pump in the borehole is using that same same system in the garage to pump the water into the tower up there there is also a purification uh, plant inside uh, that house so let me show you so viewers this is uh, the house where the purification plant is uh, housed. We have uh, several pumps, some purification uh, gadgetry and some controls for the water, water, water pumping uh, from the borehole. So guys, all these are being powered by the same solar system that I had shown you. So viewers, this is the main house. Uh, let me take you inside so that you can have a look at most of the loads. Uh, this house is having several bedrooms, uh, some sitting room, dining area, and several other rooms. So welcome inside so that you can see what is happening inside. Uh, guys, this is the lobby. So let me then take you direct to the kitchen. Uh, guys, right now we are inside the kitchen. Uh, as you can see, we have so many appliances that are not hooked up right now, like the rice cooker, uh, the coffee maker and stuff like that but right now uh, we have this microwave 
that is running on the same same system and we have uh, this fridge here inside the kitchen that's being powered from the same same uh, system chiller uh, being powered from the same same system then we have the water dispenser that's getting power from that system uh, guys before I proceed I'd like to let you know that this house uh, is using two systems there's a system for system for 110 volts uh, that's American and also uh, the system for Kenya that is 220 so the owner is able to use appliances from the US and also uh, from Kenya yes like I, I told you uh, we have this socket which is 110 for 110 appliances and this one for 240 for 240 appliances that are found in Kenya so uh, the whole house is able to power uh, everything uh, it doesn't matter where any that appliance comes from now uh, this is a sitting area as you can see we have the down lighters we have those ceiling lights and we have these beautiful chandeliers that are making the whole place uh, shine uh, with beauty so right now I'm going to take you to one of the bedrooms uh, downstairs so, so guys this is one of the bedrooms uh, as you can see we have this overhead light uh, we have some down lighters and we also have this TV and like I told you that each house has a provision provision for 110 and 240 volts so guys this is one of the uh, bathrooms So in this bathroom you can use a shaver uh, that is uh, 110 or 240 as you wish. Now there's another bathroom, there's another bathroom inside here. The toilet for um, the guests in the house. So this is the dining area. Uh, you can see all these down lighters and also the main lines. So let me take you to the laundry area. So guys, this is the laundry area. As you can see, we have the washing machine and we also have the dryer and some lights uh, in the laundry area. So we're going upstairs. So, this is a family room uh, where we have all these sandalias, we have the TV, and also we have bedroom on the right and on the left. We have this bedroom here, and uh, as you can see, we have uh, the down lighters plus this uh, beautiful chandelier that is lighting this bedroom and uh, we have a bathroom um, inside this is the second bedroom upstairs as you can see all the lights running from that system that I've shown you before and we have the bathroom uh, inside here So viewers, let me take you to where we have uh, the guest house and uh, that guest house will be served from the same same system.
Uh, guys, as you can see, uh, the whole house is having its own security system, like uh, the cameras and also the alarm system, uh, like that one over there in the garage. And all these are being powered by that same sense system. So you see, when you have solar um, in your house, and before I forget, this whole facility is off grid. We don't have any uh, utility from uh, other companies around. This place is completely off grid. Everything is off grid. So to where we have uh, a guest house. This is a guest house. As you can see, uh, we have that freezer over there. The lights are around the kitchen area. Then uh, we have lights in all the two bedrooms plus the bathrooms. Including uh, the TV in the sitting area in the guest room. Like I told you guys, uh, this system, we are able to uh, monitor it remotely from a number of gadgets. Like for instance, you are able to monitor it uh, from your phone. Um, as you can see, uh, it's giving us all the information, the voltage of the battery, the voltage of the panels, um, consumption, and everything else. So with your phone, with your laptop, uh, you see, you are able to uh, check everything uh, that is happening in the system. You are able to check uh, the voltage, the charging current, um, the panel's output, and all other parameters. Solar TV Tech, uh, we are a part, your partner towards energy independence, and uh, we'll come right at your doorstep uh, to bring you our services uh, wherever you are uh, in Kenya. So, welcome and thank you very much for viewing uh, this video.